Well, hello. My name is Nick Nally, and this is my before and after story. Uh, my two words that I have chosen to talk about are one, condescending, and two, awakened. For, th for these reasons, um, I grew up being a pretty shy, good kid. I would never swear or get into fights or, or do bad things. Um, but I didn't see myself as socially acceptable or as someone that any girl would want to date or be interested in. Um, and th those thoughts carried over, um, that image that I had of myself carried over into junior high and then into high school as well. Um, but in junior high, in seventh grade or so, um, I got invited by a group of friends that I had um, to this youth group. And at this youth group, um, prior to this, I had believed in God. I had believed he was real. Um, I believed that there was a heaven and a hell. And the idea of hell, this fire and this ongoing pain that never ceased to end, um, the sorrow of being separated from God and having no hope, that really scared me. And so I felt like I had to keep God in the back of my mind somewhere for my whole life. Um, otherwise, I would be making a mistake if I didn't. Um, and so going into this youth group, um, music was what really resonated with me in my life. I had loved listening to bands like Green Day and Nickelback and Linkin Park because they were really in-your-face and aggressive. And for me, being a shy, quiet kid that didn't view himself very highly, that really gave me oomph. That gave me excitement for who I was. Um, I felt like it was me against the world for my entire life, and so I felt like these bands were really rooting me on and cheering me on. But once I had come to this youth group in seventh grade, I started hearing music um, that was really upbeat and fun and energizing from the band that played that night. And um, we would listen to songs as we were playing dodgeball in the gymnasium and stuff. But this music was really fun, yet it was about God. It was about Him and His love for people like me, people that feel broken and hurting, people that don't view themselves highly. And so from then on out, I started looking into what's called Christian music. And that consisted of rock music, that consisted of rap, hip-hop, that consisted of, of punk rock and, and pop music. And I got into bands like Newsboys and Skillet and Cutlass and Toby Mac, Red, a bunch of others that wore eyeliner and, and looked like they were really big rock stars and really cool people, yet they loved Jesus. And they knew, like I did, that, that they were broken and they needed a hope that could only be found in God. Um, and so this music really identified with me, and I started going to a lot of concerts. I considered myself a concert junkie, looking back now, um, because I had gone to so many Christian music concerts, and that was my way of connecting with God. That was my escape from reality. That was my escape from life, um, from my life of being a porn addict that happened in high school and carried on in college. Um, and my continued negative image towards myself. Um, and in high school, I started to condescend on my friends because I thought I was more mature than them. If they didn't like the music that I did, then they were living out their faith life wrongly or if they weren't trying to get past their own mistakes like I was trying to get past my my addiction to porn then then they weren't they weren't really living well either and my friends kind of ca caught on to that in high school and I felt like I was kind of being pushed away and ignored and I f found myself feeling alone um so I came to college not really knowing anybody not having any close to hang on anybody close to hang on to and uh around my sophomore year I started investing in this college ministry called Fuel and uh, their music was really upbeat and fun, and it reminded me of middle school and high school and all these mission trips and retreats and fun hangouts that I had went to with my friend back then at the youth group. Um, but one Wednesday night on October 26th, 2011, um, I remember going there not expecting much. I went with some friends from my dorm floor um, to this worship service at the church for fuel. And um, the pastor and the, the music and the message that night was to confess and let go of the things that were holding you back from, from the freedom that you could experience with God. And I knew that that was directed at me. And so I started to cry. And this one song called The Stand, that talks about standing with arms wide open in awe of the one who gave it all, Jesus. Um, it made me get on my knees. I had my head in my arms as I was crying on the floor of that gymnasium. And I said, God, I know that you wanted this for me. I know that um, you wanted to free me tonight. 
and I talked to the pastor. I talked to my friends on my dorm floor that were close to me that night about my past addiction to porn, my past struggles of seeing myself and seeing others, and for the first time in my life, I felt like I was free. And so my eyes had been opened, I had been awakened, and now my story's not over. Now I start to see other people's stories as broken, yet worth telling, worth sharing, worth noticing like mine was. And so that's what I'm seeking now, is uh, more ways for God to open my eyes to the reality of who everyone is and how much he loves each of us to set us free from our brokenness. So thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed hearing my before and after story.